Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 12, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, also, if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Okay, Aries, uh, you have a high drive for success this week. A lot of scattered energy around you. You know, that's going to be to be expected right here during retro. Uh, expect sudden changes and then things will flow naturally. A trip out of state is coming up for some of you. Uh, good luck and abundance and taking your power back with two signs that may or may not resonate with you are going to be a Pisces and or a Leo. So Aries, first card up for you this week is, what do we have here? We have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups coming in with an unexpected offer. And for some of you, this is going to be an unexpected offer of love. Now, for my singles, this could be actually an unexpected offer of a relationship. Okay? Uh, couples, it could be love as in uh, family and or friends. Okay? And moving forward, we have the Empress. The Mother card. Positive changes on the home front. For a few of you, you could also be getting news of a pregnancy. We have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands says, you know, this is total victory, complete success, surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Some of you have an audience or some of you are in the spotlight, but it does scream victory and success. Beside that, we have the sun, the happy card in the deck. You know, it says the sun shines brightly in all that you do. And in the center of the reading, we have the world. And the world is your oyster. I mean, what better way to have the center of the reading that radiates throughout is the world on your side. Okay, right there with that sun. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is coming in for you to open your heart to give love and receive love. Also want to throw out there a Scorpio may or may not resonate with you. And I do see, and then perhaps, I mean, I usually don't associate gender with a reading, um, but maybe a female coming in to offer some strong love advice to you. And we have there, with that, there is the lover's card, intensity and the love life. With that, we have the four swords. Four swords says get the rest that you need while you can. This is the calm before the storm. And with that, we have the Six of Swords. Love this. Traveling, but you're not traveling alone. But it's also you leaving the troubled waters and heading into the calm. So this tells me that you're heading into a better space in general, even if it's a shift in energy. So let's go a, bit, a little bit further with these messages. Starting on that page of cups, we have the Strength card. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. With the Empress, we have the Page of Wands. Sagittarius energy coming in. This is a messenger card, and the message is the Ten of Wands. You are there. You are overcoming your obstacles. You have pushed them to the side. You're creating a new path. You're creating a better path. Uh, it just shows in general that things are going really well for you guys. On the sun, we have the King of Pentacles, financial stability coming in. Also, a Gemini may or may not resonate. And I really feel strongly that someone's coming in to offer you some kind of financial advice. On the world card, we have the Six of Pentacles. Something's coming in to restore your financial balance. But not only does it restore your financial balance, it's actually going to enable you to help someone one else, someone else out financially, but it's probably going to be a few weeks out, okay? On the Queen of Cups, we have the Six of Cups. Uh, in matters of heart, you are reconnecting with someone from the past. Now, before you're ready to shoot the messenger, I can say this is someone you're delighted and thrilled to reconnect with. On the Lover's Card, we have, there's a relationship here. Okay, so if you are in a relationship, you can expect to ascend to another level, living together, wedding vows, commitments. And if you are single, you can expect someone to offer you a relationship. On the Four of Swords, we have again the sun, that happy card, that sun shines brightly in all that you do. And then on that Six of Swords, we have the shadow side. Someone's getting ready to show you a side of them that you never thought existed. So just be warned of that. Center of the reading bonus, we have the Five of Cups to get out of your head. 
you're overthinking, you're overanalyzing, okay? That takes your energy from up here to down here, so no overthinking this week. Bottom line is you're sitting on two cards of the sun that says, you know, this is good luck and abundance, so... Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your week. Don't forget JackieJoblin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. I'll see you soon. Bye.